closer. I'm excited. Rockstar officially confirmed that it will get a full-fledged trailer in December. Now, I don't know if full-fledged means full-fledged teaser or full-fledged, full-fledged. We'll I'm just saying, man, it might even be GTA Mobile, though. You never know, because after all, we are talking about Rockstar games. Like the video if you do not want it to be a mobile game, though. We'll see. Yeah, it's around the time of the company's anniversary, and that news completely broke the internet. Yeah. So I think we all know the reveal is going to quickly break any and all viewership <laughs> records. I mean, it's going to break the viewership, but let's be real. If it turns out to be a GTA Mobile game, then Sega's going to be breaking Rockstar games. Let's be real. Trailer. <laughs> That's not even talking if Yo. you're an investor of stock. Take Two Interactive stock is up about ten to fifteen dollars yeah. since that announcement. That single tweet, mm. as you probably guessed, quite a bit of new information is starting to come out about Grand Theft Auto Six, both from insider leaks and from Take Two Interactive themselves. Today, we get it all. We're going to compile everything. If you've missed a beat, I've got you. Brace yourself because the stuff what that Take Two said may not be what you wanted to hear. Fast on your seat belts and point to be nodded. Man, this is this is going to cause chaos around the streets if this actually happens yep we talked about it previously i posted this over my twitter if you guys got twitter follow me on twitter let me send you some kishis out there follow on twitter because this news is going around gta 6 publisher says that 70 dollars is very very low Bruh. for the value provided and suggests that games should ideally be priced per hours play and Sega's already making like unofficial concepts, bruh. Like, I swear to God, bro. Biden, you need to cut this man's internet access. These things are gonna ruin uh, society. These things, gonna, <laughs> these things are gonna ruin society. You need to cut this man's internet access. Brother already made, this brother already made this concept where it says renting for $5 per hour, buy the game for $150. Get more, okay? Get the way for get more leading up to the game's reveal you let me know in the comments what you think about all of this drop a like on the video make sure you're subscribed to the channel because we're yeah like the video was first thing i want to go over is the recent gameplay leak that i think is a natural progression for the franchise actually makes all me right. excited to start running around an open world according to inside sources gta 6 is reworking how carjacking works to be a bit more realistic meaning luxury cars will actually be harder to steal i mean they're going to be more sophisticated with their security features older less fancy classic cars will be easier to steal because you can just break a window hotwire it and go Yay! Man, can a brother perhaps? I mean, okay, sure, like, it sounds very, very good. It's gonna be realistic. We love that, guys. But, bruh, like, imagine you are on 5-star wanted level. I hope there's 6-star wanted level. Like the video if you agree. But let's say, right, like, you have 5-star or 6-star wanted level. You try to steal a car to get away. And if that like it takes 2 minutes to break into the car, then it's gonna be Joe over. You're gonna be Finetto. You're gonna be Dunzo, Gonzo. It's gonna be Joe over, bruh. But I like the idea, though. I like the idea. I like the idea. Oh, if you want to steal a sports car or something more modern, you're going to need special tools to do it. And there may be some kind of mini game related to bypassing the car's security, which will presumably increase your chances of getting caught in the process. I'm not a fan of the mini game. I don't want that to be part of it all. I actually get annoyed with mini games. I don't like the mini games in Spider Man 2 or anything like that. It feels like relatable. it kind of breaks just. Relatable, relatable. First W of the video, relatable, man. The mini games, you guys like it or yeah or nay, yeah or nay, yeah or nay. It takes me out of the flow. I'm not a fan. Up until this point, Stealing cars in GTA? Simple. That's not a bad thing. Simple. Since GTA 6 is going to be taking place more than 10 years after the last game and technology has changed a ton over the last decade, I think it's a good time to update the formula a bit. I think this is going to add a lot of immersion and gameplay depth to the experience. Same thing with Okay, the like, at the end of the day, we, we need to actually make a, what was this called? A temporary truce, right? Y'all suckers can do whatever you want, okay? Make it five times harder to steal a car in the game. I don't care. As long as you do not nerf the Lucia Burnout. Bruh. Don't nerf the Lucia Bruna, bruh. Like, that's the only thing. Uh, smash like button if you agree, bro. Like, that Bruna, eh. Listen, man. The map got to be big. The Bruna got to be big. These are two things that got to be big, though. The cops. If the cops get called, they have to actually come from a police station. They don't just all of a sudden appear with tanks and helicopters. I like it. Now, the Direct <laughs> recently published like an article. It. I like it because, so yeah, here's the thing, right? I, I remember the fa uh, remember the time when Cyberpunk first came out. I'm not sure if that's true, still true or not, but... Y'all remember when Cyberpunk first came out and the cops were spawning out of NPCs butthole though. Deadass, not even capping, they were spawning like uh, like no one's business. Like coming out, like y you see an NPC, boom. And cops spawning out of his bumhole. Another NPC, you look at it, boom. Spawning out of his bumhole. 
Bruh, like, we don't want to see something like that in GTA, bro. That's that's going to be literally AIDS, bruh. Compiling a ton of recent leaks and rumors that have been floating around the community, some of which came from supposed insiders with air quotes, while others came from passionate fans continuing to analyze and dissect the in-development build of the game that leaked last September. Yes, it was a year ago. Over a year ago. Crazy. We know for bro. a fact that the game is going to be set in Vice City. And the last time that setting appeared in a GTA game, the map was roughly 5.6 square kilometers. Oh, Let me put that in comparison for you. GTA 5's map was 48 square kilometers, so assuming GTA 6 map is the exact same size as GTA 5's, which is not likely, that would mean this new version of Vice City is going to be eight times the size of the original. Now granted, it's confirmed that the GTA 6 map will feature Vice City in all of the surrounding areas and neighborhoods, so obviously the city itself won't be eight times bigger than the last version, but still, this new game is going to be much bigger, a much bigger representation of Florida, even if the map simply matches the size of GTA 6. Now it's believed that the new GTA map is going to be at least double the size of GTA 5's, but I do want to point out that nah, it's entirely nah. possible it's smaller because it wouldn't be out of character but for Rockstar to make things a bit smaller and tightly focused. GTA yeah, we, we actually did hear that the map is going to be a bit smaller this time, but it's still going to be big. It's it's going to be big enough when you compare GTA 6 with other games that are on the market, but it's going to be a smaller Rockstar games, uh, the map. That's what we heard like a long time ago. I'm not sure how true that was then. I'm not sure how true that is right now because the only thing I know is that, bro, like, if Lucia Bruna is big, the map needs to be big. Bruh. Simple as that. Simple as that. How else she's gonna carry that Bruna? How else she's gonna carry that cake? Y you, know, you need a bigger map for a bigger Bruna. Simple as that. But, if they nerf it, if they nerf it, then they can certainly make it small, though. Uh, then they can certainly make the map small, and I hope that doesn't happen, bruh. I swear to God, if they do that, I'll become a monk and settle myself on a mountain in Tibet. Uh, and if they do this renting feature as well, I'll become a monk right then and there. San Andreas featured a huge map, over 31 square kilometers, but the next game, GTA 4, they shrunk it down to 8 square kilometers. Now, granted, GTA 4's map is also arguably the most immersive Rockstar map to date in terms of attention Wait, what? to San Andreas feature. Well, it's smaller because it wouldn't be out of character, but for Rockstar to make things a bit smaller and tightly focused. GTA San Andreas featured a huge map, over 31 square kilometers, but the next game, GTA 4, they shrunk it down to 8 square kilometers. No way! No way! Yo, I always thought that GTA 4 map was bigger, though. I know San Andreas map is like, you know, it got six cities, uh, three cities, three villages, six cities, let's just say, right? Man, I remember when San Andreas first came out, bro. I was a youngin', man. Whenever, whenever, like, a hot chick would come on the screen, I would be like... I, I would be like this. I would be looking both ways. I would, look, I would be looking behind, like, making sure mama don't enter, you know what I'm saying? I still did that when GTA 5 came out, bruh. Like, I was 17. Bruh. <laughs> I was 17 when GTA 5 came out, man. How old was you when GTA 5 came out? I was literally, like... A kid when San Andreas came out, but I believe I played it like after I was 12 or something like that. Man, that those were good times, man. And yep, the map actually felt big, but looking back, it wasn't that big. I always thought GTA 4 map was bigger though. Damn, it was small. Now, granted, GTA 4's map is also arguably the most immersive Rockstar map to date in terms of attention to detail, NPC behavior, all that stuff. But I point this out because I think a lot of people have been 100% convinced there's no way GTA 6's no map way. is smaller than 5's. So I feel no the need way. to remind you all that Rockstar has absolutely made a GTA sequel's map smaller than its predecessor. With how much Crazy. detail is expected to be in this game, I wouldn't be shocked at all if it crossed their mind. Honestly, bro, I would just hope that the game is more alive and it got a lot more to do. Uh, I, I hope that the city is alive. Uh, there are a lot of activities. Uh, I, I hope that the, the, the cops spawn out of, uh, like, you know, headquarters. Uh, they actually come from police uh, chokies out there, as uh, in, in Urdu, I would like to say. But, 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 like, you know what I'm saying, right? Like, I don't want them to spawn out of NPC's butthole. That's, like, one thing that's just... Nah, nah, nah. Okay, I I hope that there are a lot of uh, cars. I hope we have a feature on consoles where we can up the vehicle density, like like PC. I hope we can have the NPC density slider as well. That would actually be insane because sometimes obviously for realism, when you feel like it, you want to up the notch on the, the, the vehicle density. But if you really want to like play the game and dead ass be uh, go from point A to point B, obviously you want to lower the vehicle spawn because the more the vehicles, the, 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 the more the roads would be crowded and thus you won't be able to drive uh, effectively. I, I truly do hope that like there are a lot of things to do i would prefer a smaller map but a lot to do then a big ass map where we have none to do and you know it's just like a hard time carrying the lucia Bruna around right like you feel what i'm saying because if there's nothing to do then there's nothing to do like that would be that would yeah you, you feel what i'm saying like the video if you feel what i'm saying yes to do it again i don't think gta 6 is going to be noticeably or noticeably smaller than gta 5 
but I also don't think it's going to be three or four times bigger. GTA 5's map is an estimated 48... I, 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 if I have to take a guess, I would say like 25 or 30% bigger than GTA 5, and that's that's perfectly odd, though. New map, that's perfectly odd. If I had to guess, I would say GTA 6 is going to be somewhere between 50 and 70. So still an increase, but not this giant jump that some people are saying. Now, Damn. with that being said, a number of people, including the Direct in this report, have been making the argument that Rockstar is planning on adding new cities to the map as time goes on. And that yes, post-launch patches will include a ton of new missions, stories, characters, everything. So if the game comes out and the map isn't as big as you were expecting, it's going to grow. It's going to expand as the years go on. Personally, I don't I have like any that. trouble believing that. I think I like it would be that. a nice like way that. to meet the community halfway because I'm sure, as many of you are aware, a lot of longtime GTA fans have been frustrated with Rockstar's lack of post-launch single-player content during the GTA 5 era. GTA 4? Had some of the best single player DLC in gaming history. The first Red Dead Redemption had the fan favorite Undead Nightmare. Big agree, big agree, bro. Like GTA 4, The Ballad of Gay Tony, The Lost and Damn. How many of you guys remember playing or buying those DLCs? I remember, I believe like one DLC was like $15. And I'm talking about like 15 Canadian. That's like easily 10 bucks. Man, simple times, bro. Like I'm telling you, man. Where have you been, guys? Where have you been? We used to actually get the entire DLC, single player DLC. And if you did not know, well, apparently that Franklin DLC, that Franklin DLC, this is Franklin right now, by the way, guys. Bruh. Franklin DLC was supposed to be a single player DLC on GTA 5, but those suckers saw that you still had money in your wallet. They, they saw that. They, they were like, yeah, you got a Benjamin somewhere. You, you, got, that, you got that Benjamin. Like, give, that, give, give me the Benji. Give me the Benji. And they were like, okay, we're going to release shark cards. We're going to release a whole lot of microtransactions. We're going to release Franklin in, uh, instead of... Uh, we're not going to release Frank, Franklin in single player. We're going to release it on multiplayer, guys. Man, I swear to God, man. Th this company is crazy. But this time we are hearing that we're going to be getting... DLCs in single player uh, alongside multiplayer. Uh, I mean, remains to be seen. I'll, 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 I'll believe it when I see it. I certainly believe that they're definitely gonna do some like crazy amount of DLCs for online. That's fine. But I hope we get it in single player too, though. Like the video if you agree. Mere expansion, but GTA 5, they went all in with multiplayer. That meant single player DLC had to be sacrificed. So if the plan for GTA 6 is to continually update the map, make it bigger. That could mean the return of single player DLC, which I am 100% on board for, and I hope you are too. I know a lot of people love online, Agreed. but me as an Agreed. old school GTA fan, I would love to get some more Agreed. offline story content added to the game after launch day. Now, the thing that many of you probably heard about recently in regards to the pricing of GTA 6, and it might... Yeah! Uh, yeah, we talked about this, boys. Uh, oh. $5 renting, guys? You love that? Let me know, man. You let me know. It up being nothing, but... It also might end up being potentially the worst possible scenario when it comes to how video games are priced. Bear with me. I'm sure some of you remember the rumors we talked about floating around about a month or two ago suggesting that GTA 6 was going to be priced higher than most games with some outlets even claiming that the base version of the game would be over a bill, over $100. I remember when it happened. I mentioned it in a video that while I didn't think Take-Two would do it, I did understand the thought process. Take two is a business with shareholders to answer to, and they're likely always looking for ways to. Yeah, I remember when that Sega actually was like, "Yeah, guys, like uh, you know, GTA, 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 we gotta charge people a lot more." And he introduced that price of one hundred. I don't think he ever said hundred dollars. Uh, I I don't think he ever gave a price. But it's just that people started believing that he he he's gonna he's gonna make it one fifty one fifty, and then he did say that seventy dollars is very very low. I mean. Get your ass out of here, get my love, bro. And he did introduce that, uh, he did introduce the idea that we should charge gamers per hour. <laughs> oh my god, bro. I swear to god, man, if you suckers do this, I'll become a monk, I'll quit gaming, I'll become a monk, settle myself on a mountain into bed, guys. Recently we had trailer teaser, guys. Uh, we had a ton of stuff that Rockstar Games did. The trailer is nigh, my brothers. Click on this video on the screen, and I'll see you right there. Don't let your dogs out, boys. Don't let your dogs.